you know, first I wanted to start by just uh, saying that the business lost a good man today um, in terms of, you know, uh, Jerry Kill retiring. Um, guy that I love to spend time with. Um, you know, whenever the Big Ten would have any meetings, head coaches meetings that we would get together, just a, just an unbelievable guy. Take football out of it, just an unbelievable person, unbelievable guy. A tremendous respect for him and his career and how he handled his business. So, um, Big Ten lost a good man today. College football lost a good man today. But if I could imagine, he's still going to have an impact on the game somehow, some way. So, um, sad to sad to see Jared go. Open up the question. What was your reaction? Did you watch this press conference at any point? What was your reaction? Yeah, I watched it. I watched it later. I mean, um, you know. It's it's hard it's hard to see something like that. It's hard to watch something like that, especially um, you know, especially when you understand kind of what he's going through, and it's obvious what the game means to him. Um, and being around kids, you know, young men, what that means to him. You know, his family has sacrificed a lot for a long time, and um, you know, it's hard. It's hard emotionally to see someone, you know, going through that. But he made the right choice for his family and for himself, um, and I think everybody respects that. I sent him a text this afternoon. How much perspective is that? Line? You know, you're in the grind of this every day to see someone going through that situation. Uh, as a head coach, what does that kind of perspective wise mean? Yeah, I think, you know, I think perspective is important for all of us. Um, you know, but the demands of this game are, are, are challenging. There's high expectations, especially at a place like Penn State. But it, 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 it obviously, you know, it has to be family first. It has to be your health first. It has to be your family. Um, you know, Jerry, Jerry made that decision in the long haul. He tried to pull it off, you know, for a long time. But in the end, you know, you got to do what's right for your family. You got to do what's right for your health. As you guys were wanted to scale things back, how do you think that's gone so far this week? And are you liking what you're seeing from that? Yeah, I mean, today today was really the first day that we did that. We cut some time off practice yesterday, but not significant. Today was the real difference. We're usually in pads and banging a little bit. Uh, we changed tempos up today. We did some walkthroughs, took the shoulder pads off, uh, took the knee braces off, things like that. So, um, you know, we'll watch the film, but from what I – saw it practiced, I, I liked it. I thought it was the right thing to do at the right time uh, in our season. Um, that doesn't guarantee that that's what we'll do next week. It's a decision we made for this week and we'll see what we need to do moving forward. And how do you prepare, you know, your defense, you said you mentioned tempo yesterday, some of the guys have mentioned it too. How do you kind of prepare them to, to get ready for tempo continuously throughout the year when, like you said, you're pulling things up, but I'm sure you still want the pace of the practice. Yeah, that, that's that's the hard part. And the other thing is is hard to replicate with your scout team is is the speed. No different than we talked about when you're playing a team like Army to try to replicate that offense in a week. It's difficult to do. Now, if you're a tempo team, and that's what you do um, on offense, and you can go against each other, then that helps. Um, but obviously, the teams that that do that also have trouble when they play a, a power team. Um, you know, so there's challenges in both directions in terms of what you do uh, philosophically in your program. Watching the film, have you noticed any similarities, uh, big picture similarities between uh, Penn State's offense and Illinois' offense? And has that, if so, has that made that easier on the defense this week? No, I mean, they're a true spread team. We have spread aspects in our offense, but but um, no, I, would, I wouldn't say that. I think there's, you know, to be honest with you, you know, there's a lot made up of, of schemes and offense or defensive systems. To be honest with you, almost everybody's running the same place. I mean, it's, you know, I think there's way too much put into that. Um, you know, the plays that we're running are, the, are really the same plays I would say 70% of the people in the, in the Big Ten and across the country are running. Um, same thing defensively. Um, it comes down to fundamentals, it comes down to execution, it comes down to experience. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not, like, it's not like each school is running a completely separate, different offense or defensive scheme. Chase, we're going to talk about you a little bit tomorrow morning. How have you become, do you think you've become a better coach from just working with him and, and vice versa? How have you helped each other? 
Yeah, yeah, I think the whole staff. You know, I, I've said that before. I don't, I don't think the whole staff gets enough credit um, for the type of coaches there. I think coordinators a lot of times obviously get the focus, but I think, uh, you know, I think we got a great staff. Awesome. Thanks, guys.